Hi, hi. My name is Jazzy Coco, and I'm going to show you how to apply lace textures on bra and panty sets. Okay, here we go. Now, <sighs> lacy, lacy clothes, it contains a lot of detail and a lot of, you know, floral designs. And when it comes to um, sexy lingerie and thong sets, most of them come with thong or g-strings or whatever, it has a lot of detail. I don't know why, it's just lace. It's, it's very hard to do for some artists because some of them either do it by hand or they find and work with a texture or they make their own textures and try to get that design to make it look like a very sexy piece of um, nightwear but um, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it with textures using paint tool sci you can also use this method in Photoshop but the thing is you gotta go online and find a suitable seamless texture save it or copy it and just paste it into your um, your file underneath that base layer whatever you're gonna um, put it on and just clip it so instead of just saying it I'll just show you now all my folders all my excuse me all my layers have their own folders so what I did is after I put shadow in trying to test colors out trying to see what will go what will not go blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but it's just um, it's just trying to get an idea of how and what the um, the texture is going to look like, how it's going to set in with the color. Even though this is a darkish gray, it's not full black. This um, area right here, it's black, but it's not jet black. You can still kind of see the line art here. But um, let's get started. Now, I'm going to make a new layer and I'm gonna hit clipping group now this is not gonna be where the uh, this is not where the lace texture is gonna be now if you've seen some uh, lacy textures I mean well bras basically you'll notice that sometimes they're kinda nude around this area but since this is not gonna be sexually explicit we're just gonna run around with that. Now I picked the uh, colors that I use for her skin because I got a lot of colors here and I should have saved them. But let's go ahead and get started. Now I got my color uh, chosen here which is like a mid brown. It's not a dark brown but it's a mid brown so that's my primary color. What I do is I hit control F. Now as you can see the color is on that layer, but it's too dark. There are ways to do it. You can either lower the opacity, but I'm going to lower it to maybe, let's try 61, but that's a little too light. 66, mm, I think that looks good. Alright, that, that'll look better for now. Now we're going to go to the base for the bra. This is for the bra because this is on a whole other layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to texture and I'm going to go all the way down and I'm going to find, whoopsie, I'm going to find the lace, which is lace 3 point. And I apply the texture on there. And as you can see, it's on that base layer. You can definitely see it. Okay. Now, you can scale this down to be smaller it doesn't matter because this is a uh, let's see this is a seamless texture so you don't have to worry about lines showing up unwanted now there are ways to do this you can play around with it you can make it look more realistic it's up to you but for me I want to make it pop out as much as often because besides the beautiful lady that you're gonna see you're gonna see what she's wearing. You're gonna see how detailed it is, how beautiful it is. Just 
you know, simple things like that. So it's all here, and I bumped the uh, texture strength up to 66 at first, but now it's at 59. We don't want too much strength on it. So when you're satisfied, you can just go on to the next layer. Now it's important to kind of have like a nudish base because you don't want it to be you don't want it to be solid like you know like that you want to lower the opacity just give it a little bit of detail and if you, if you just work with the color here to make it look semi nude or whatever just as long as that color is still there and not as a solid color so we're going to move it to 75 just in case 75 now we go to the trim here and as you can see it is very bland very very bland and I, I put a color here because <laughs> I was gonna work with a pinkish but I don't need it anymore so I delete it and what we'll, what we'll do is uh, we'll get the same color that we used for uh, the nude layer here and I hit control F again and multiply and I'm going to move it all the way to 75 so it can match this it's very important when you're doing like color overlays or whatever it's important to have it as the same opacity so it'll look smoothly it'll look very smooth and flawlessly so after that, we go back to the base layer where this is and we get our lace or you can just get another one. I have two. <laughs> and as you can see, this layer is applied. If you want it to be bigger, you can make it bigger, but sometimes it's just best to not really go ape, ape shit over it, excuse me, but you don't want to go overboard when you're doing it with lace because remember, even though that lace bras and panties and whatever, they have lots of detail and the most important thing is, is to not really go overboard with it. Just try small baby steps because after all, it is your drawing, it is your creation but still be careful around those areas so as for this I go back to my settings here the scale is 86 this is 59 and what I want to do is match it I wish that I wish that side had an accurate slider because sometimes it's, it's kind of tricky to do Ah, oh, crap, nugget. <laughs> ah, I'm just probably going to move it to 86. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I would be, like, trying to make this dialer work, and it wouldn't work sometimes. Now, it can work on the, on the strength, but it will not work on here sometimes. It will just go to 81. 86 then and 91 so I'll just go for 86 then you won't be able to tell the difference anyhow now we think we're completed we're not <laughs> so I'm gonna go down here where the bra layer is I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm gonna get a semi dark well semi black but not too black and what I'm gonna do is get a hard brush like um, a regular brush here I'm gonna angle this if I can and start at the bottom and get a good angle here yeah that'll work and I'm just gonna carefully just paint that just paint around it now what this will do it will make it pop out more 
much more because the shadowing that I'm about to do is going to really make the bra and panty set look very will look very good I wouldn't say realistically because I myself haven't put in a lot of detail into this picture but I will probably later on tonight or whenever but I'm still sick so I'm trying to get done with, it, with everything else <sighs> so don't mind me I'm just gonna do my thing here now as you can see there's a like a light gray light gray black this is the true color of it, and it's all normal. If we switch that to um, multiply, you'll see that the color has darkened a lot. Uh oh. And just do that there. Now, I like to use blend a lot, it is a fabulous tool, and it is great for shading. It's great for blending skin and clothes, but I have another tool for that. If I don't want to use another tool, I just use, um, I'll just use the blending tool. So, I go back around here, make it a little, um, holy crap, my phone keeps going off. <laughs> Um, but anyway, as I was saying, I put a little more depth into it, just a little bit, and as you can see, it's, it's standing out just a little bit, and then sometimes I like to do this, like make it a little bit smooth as I blend it in, then I switch over, and I just softly blend. Everything I do is very soft and then I like working with bright colors. I like colors. It's, 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 it's awesome. It's amazing. You can't go wrong with it. I'm always trying new things out and practicing to perfect it and better it. So, after I do all of that, you can see that it's blending in just a little bit more. Just a little bit. We're going to do the same for down here where her uh, panties are. And I don't want to add too much, but just make it one stroke instead of just a short, um, a few short strokes. What we do is just blend that in. Now, if you don't want it, like, the new color to be part of the bra, we can always lower our opacity. We can always lower it to maybe 50, 58, whatever. So I'm going to choose 55 so it won't be too brownish. And we just do it like that. Now, you can always, uh, oh you can always, um, change your, uh, size of how you want the, uh, texture to be. You can always do that. Doesn't matter. Make sure I got it like that. Whatever. So I'm going to lower it to a 55, just in case, a 55. You can lower your uh, texture all the way to 50. That's like the only, um, that's like the only, um, size you can go down to. So let's lower this just a little bit. All right, 153. Now for um, this that we did, we can lower the opacity so it won't stand out too much. So it won't be completely dark like that. 
we just want a little shadow where the uh, lace bra is. So I'm going to move that up to 79 so we can uh, still see it. Now if you don't want to choose just a bland color such as black, there are ways to do that. Control F. You can choose a white color. You can choose an orange color. Aqua. Violet. You can choose a variety of colors. It doesn't matter. But that is if you know you don't want it to stay just a regular color or whatever. It doesn't matter. As long as you have an overlay layer on top of all of your um colors, just in case, because you don't want to fool around with the base color and you mess up and you can't go back. Because Psy only has like a few um a few steps before it, it just won't um it just won't uh go back to its original settings. So all of this is just overlay. That's all it is. Or I can just choose like a, a black color so the colors won't match. Let me do it like that. That's a little bit too dark. And that's how I do it. But this is just one of the ways, like I said, there are several ways to do this. But I think it's actually two at most. The copy paste and applying a texture via paintable side. Um, it's very easy and it's not hard at all. You just need to know um, to get a very high quality image. I wouldn't recommend uh, JPEG because it's lossless quality. So even if you apply it on something like this, it may cause a little bit distortion. But it doesn't have to be a really, really big file as in size. Just something that has a high, a very high resolution. So when you apply it on your character's bra or panties or whatever, you can see that detail just like you can see this now. But I may have to work some more on this because, you know, I'm never satisfied. <laughs> I'm never satisfied. So this was just um, an example of uh, how I do these things. And if you like this video, hit like. If you have any questions, ask me. I will most definitely be glad to help you. But um, that's it for now. I'm Jessie Coco, and I'll see you guys later.